having fantasies right now about punching the fat guy in the face to get rid of that dopey-ass grin? Yeah, don't worry, I've been there too, but he's my younger brother, you know? Well, I mean, he's adopted, but he's still my brother all the same. And yes, baby Huey and I are a little too old to be doing the old door-to-door -door game, but unfortunately we're the only members of our congregation who are under 45, so... This sucked a lot less when we had our bike. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh? That was not the Lord, buddy. That was some trollop on First Street. It's another blessed, beautiful day here in God's country, eh, Brother Joseph? Yes, quite the bounty the Lord's bestowed upon us, Brother Bradley. We're from a pretty small town, so not only is there a lack of marriage material, there's also a lack of areas for us to canvas, hence our heading over to the suburbs every Wednesday to proselytize. And no, not prostitutelatize, that's not even a word. Proselytizing! The act of going door to door and attempting to convert the unshepherded masses. Ready for yet another adventure in attempting to save the souls of our blasphemous brethren, Brother Joseph? Blasphemous brethren? What are you babbling on about? Stop trying to sound like the narrator from the Batman TV show. And, dude, you're like my actual brother. You don't need to refer to me as Brother Joseph. You all ready for Mr. Hemsley? Depending on which personality he has hold today, you better get your running shoes on. God has blessed us this day. I can feel it. Today is going to be different. Wait a minute. What do you mean? You know I only own one pair of shoes. new. Well, I feel faint. Don't worry, that's just your diabetes kicking in. But seriously, who gives a schizophrenic a gun? Well, who are we to interfere with the Constitution? That's between God and the government. Right. So, on to the hunters then? Oh yeah, I love Miss Hunter. She's the best. Yeah, but don't you ever get a weird vibe off of them? Judge not, brother. These are good people. The only reason they scare you is because they're the only ones decent enough to give us the time of day. My point exactly. <laughs> oh, well, hello, boys. Is it Wednesday already? You know it, Mr. H. We're as accurate as a clockwork. More like Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> How are you and your wife, Mr. Hunter? Oh, we're fine. She's a little tied up at the moment. <laughs> oh, she says hello. Uh, how are you two? Oh, we're fine. Say, have you heard the good news about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Now, Brad, you know I admire your boys' can-do attitude, but I have no desire to wear your magic underwear. Well then, I have good news for you. They're not just for you, they're designed for your wife as well. And they're less a pair of underwear than they are a constant reminder that you promise to only engage in coitus with Mrs. Hunter if it's under the supervision of God. And preferably to provide mortal bodies for the spirit children of God to inhabit. What did Bishop Green tell you about talking about the magic underwear? What? That's what it's for. He only told me not to mention it protect you from gunfire and car accidents. Well, Mr. H, thank you for your time and the water. You're great. And the candy. I'm going to need the energy today. And good luck today, boys. And be nice if you go to Deborah's house. <laughs> Greetings. Have you heard the good news about our... <laughs> Greetings. Have you heard the good news about... <laughs> Greetings. Have you heard the good news about our Lord? <laughs> Greetings. Have you heard... Get off my fucking porch. Remind me again why we do this to ourselves every week. Because, brother, it's our duty as members of the church to spread God's word. But why? Every time we go to the same area we've been to a hundred times before, and we knock on the same dozen doors, and we talk to the same dozen people, and we get the same dozen answers. It's our duty as sworn members of God's army to save people's souls. Without us, they have no idea of the eternal pain and damnation that awaits them. But maybe they're the ones who are right. Did you ever think of that? Maybe they don't need saving if they don't want it. Maybe, just maybe, for once in our lives, we could leave people alone and let them live however they want to. 
Could you live comfortably in heaven knowing that we didn't do everything we could to help save our community? This is our chore, given to us by God himself. Do you really believe all of that? Mm -hmm. Look, it's just what we do, brother. Me and you versus the world. <laughs> I know. And I love you too, man. I just... I just need a change, that's all. Well then, let's make this day different. How about we go and visit Mrs. Thomas? She always seems to make you smile. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? For once, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what I need. But first, let's visit that huffy stealing hussy's house. Greetings. Have you heard the good word about our Lord and Savior? Oh, Jesus Christ. You said it, ma'am. And speaking of Jesus, do you believe that he's the one true Son of God, the Savior and Redeemer of the world? You do believe in Jesus, don't you, ma'am? Yeah. I mean, I'm down with JC. Well, that's just great. Because as the Book of Moroni teaches us, a bitter fountain cannot bring forth good water, nor can a good fountain bring forth bitter water. Wherefore, a man being a servant of the devil cannot follow Christ. And if he follow Christ, he cannot be a servant of the devil. So you're saying I'm following the devil because I stole your guy's bike? Oh, no, man. We're not saying that. Any regrets that you might have are between the Lord and your guilty conscience. You know, every fucking week it's the same thing. Can't I just buy a watchtower from you guys and you can go away? Ah, uh, that's Jehovah's Witnesses, man. Yeah, they believe that Christ was crucified on a stake, not a cross. Way different. What can I fucking do? It would be lovely to see you at services next Sunday. And if you told them that Brother Joseph and Brother Bradley sent you, all the better. Fine. See you Sunday. Found it. See, brother? Things are looking up. We got one. Oh, who gives a shit? It wasn't about that. It was just fun watching her squirm. It, you don't think she's actually coming, do you? But she said she was going to come. Dude, she's not coming to church, Brad. But you got to admit, that was fun, right? Oh, come on, poor chop, admit it. You know you had fun back there. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, that was invigorating. Careful, brother. You've got that look in your eye after you, uh, after a what? Well, you know, you know, have a cup of coffee. Well, brother Bradley, perhaps there are a few things more interesting in life than me having a cup of coffee after a bad day. Come on. Maybe we should skip Miss Thomas this time. Well, well, well. If it isn't the most handsome men in uniform I have seen in years, how are you boys today? Fine, Miss Thomas. How are you? Well, I'm much better now. Did you come to convert me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we did. Well, come on in, boys. Let's see if you could teach me a lesson. We're running kind of late, actually. Actually, we have all the time in the world. Don't be rude, Brother Bradley. Can I get you something to drink? Coffee? Tea? Soda? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not allowed to have any of that. Actually, I'll have a coffee, Mrs. Thomas. How do you take it? Black, please. Mm, big and strong. Just how I like my men. <laughs> Brother, what on earth are you doing? You need to control yourself before you do something you're gonna regret. Listen, you said it yourself, today's different. Thank you. So, was Mr. Thomas baptized or is he in the outer darkness right now? Brother, stop being an ass. This woman's invited us into her home. We should act accordingly. No, Mr. Thomas wasn't saved. We just never had much of an interest in church. <laughs> But we were very active in our own community. I admire you two. Every week you come out here and face endless rejection. Well, ma'am, it is hard out there. He's a gentle soul, isn't he? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> What's up, Joe? I have been flirting with you for years. And this is the first time you haven't acted like a scared puppy. What gives? Well, I guess I just can't stand the monotony of my life one more day. That 
let's see if we can't put a smile on that face. If you please just bring him back to me, I promise that instead of eating myself into an early diabetic death, I'll devote my every waking hour to the church. <laughs> but what if he's right? What if this is all just... just... bullcrap? What if all we do is annoy people? What if... What if you're not really there? Boys, have a nice day now. I'll see you next week. So what? Did, did she touch your, um... Did, did she... It was so much more than that, brother. It was... It was magical. She... It was that moment I realized what I'd done to Brad. If I was to break free of this shit existence, it would mean abandoning my brother. I was all he had in the world. If I left the church, pursued an actual life, it would end everything he ever cared about. You're such a weird guy, you know that? No, I didn't touch her, you perv. I fixed her sink. Huh? I fixed her sink. But. But you said it was magical. Well, yeah, because of how grateful she was. I mean, she hasn't had a man in years, and, you know, she was so grateful that she said she's going to go to church this Sunday. She's going to be right there in the front row, and she's even going to tell the bishop that we're the ones who brought her. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Well, that's... I mean, that's, uh... That's just... That's just what? Amazing! Well done, brother! <laughs> Anything for you, brother. What? What else was I gonna do? If I left the life all Brad would have had is our old ass parents and the faint possibility of knocking out the neighbor's dimwit daughter. I couldn't do that to him. Hell, I couldn't even do that to her. There's a life out there for me, it's just a matter of finding my place in it. With him. But until we do. God help me, Grimace here needs all the damn help he can get. <laughs> <laughs>